In the east of the Netherlands, a team of 20 plus students is working on a very special project, building the best robo soccer team in the world. Divided over four technical sub teams each with their own specialty within the project. They develop, build and program small side soccer robots to compete in robot soccer competitions all over the world. Together, they try to innovate and inspire in the field of robotics and AI. Meet Robo Team Twente, the robotics and AI student team of the University of Twente. As a mechanical engineer, I focus on the structure of the robot. Fitting all the components in the robot can be a real puzzle. Therefore, our main work is designing parts in SolidWorks and making prototypes of new features. With our 3D printers, we can go from ID to component in less than a day, which makes the process really efficient and fun. As an electrical engineer, it's my job to design and assemble all the electrical components of the robot. All features of the robot are divided over multiple in-house designed PCBs, which are made to be as reliable as possible. And after they are designed, it's our job to solder them together. Control is responsible for making the robot behave as it should, independent on how the environment changes. Optimizing this behavior is done by measuring all the sensor data in real time and plotting them in the software. Control really is the bridge between all the technical subteams. Now that the robots are fully functioning, it is up to the AI team to put them to work. We write the software for a central computer that allows the robots to cooperate and autonomously react to whatever is happening on the field. Using the data from the camera above the field, as well as real-time sensor data from the robots, we make the robots dribble, pass, and of course, score some goals. Next to all the technical work, we have a management team that oversees all the technical sub-teams and represents the team to the outside world. Together with the public relations team, we are in charge of making sure that the team is known amongst companies and students to attract funding and to find new people for the team. We do this by being active on social media, attending events and working on graphical design such as the robot covers. 